Welcome back again to Scale Model Review. Um, I got this in the post this morning um, and I had to do a review on it straight away. I have got a list of uh, other stuff that I wanted to review in order, but I got this and I was so impressed with it, I wanted to just um, share it with you guys. It's the 172 Revel Airbus A400M, also known as the Grizzly. Um, now, uh, my son and I love this uh, aircraft because we've seen it several times at air shows and uh, it is just an immense beast and it's um, I just think it's an awesome plane so um, I, as soon as I uh, the model was announced I wanted one but I just haven't got around to buying it um, it was on special offer at Models Are Go for a ridiculously silly price of $26.99 um, so as soon as I saw that I had to get it um, John at uh, Models Are Go said that he is um, tripping over it which is why he knocked it down so cheap but uh, here we go on the box uh, itself uh, you will be able to see let's get this here. Um, there's a couple of pictures of the uh, internals once they're done and they look very smart indeed um, else on the box what other else is on the box just a little bit about uh, the Airbus itself there's also you can see here three schemes by the looks of it which we'll, we'll get into when we get in there um, just like I say I've done a new camera angle this, this week just purely for this one to uh, because it's so big. Um, if you like this, prefer this camera angle, let me know because um, I'll keep it then. Um, but uh, anyway, let's get this box open. It is a beast. It's about two and a bit foot long. Inside, there's three tons of plastic. Um, so let's let's get it all out so we can have a look at it. There's a lot of it. Right, where should we start? Let's start with this one. This is the nearest. Right, uh, not all individually wrapped the sprues, but there's a few sprues in each each plastic wrapper. Um, that looks about the interior deck. Um, as you can see, um, I've got this new camera now as well. As you should be able to pick up all this detail. Very, very good detail of all the cleats and everything that they tie all the all the stuff into inside. Um, this looks like part of the internal. You can see there lots of seats and everything. Nice ribbing and the rear the rear wings. Um, some control panel somewhere in the plane and uh, that looks like it's going to get to you. I'm sure, I haven't had a look yet but I'm sure there's going to be some photo etch around for this um, at the moment um, so uh, it's just a case of finding some. I think I'll probably, I think I'm going to go full out on this one and uh, and uh, get all the photo etch and everything as well for it. Um, I really want to go to town on this model. Um, the engraving itself on the rear tail wings is really nice, really clean, crisp, clear. Um, the detail inside on the seats is minimal, but um, I, would, I mean, I am going to have the tailgate down, uh, the ramp down on this, so uh, I will probably spend a bit and get some extra stuff for, for inside. Um, let's have a look what else we've got here. Yeah, we've got the, the wheels, the tyres. Unfortunately, what I would have liked to have seen with this, because it is such a beast, and it looks like it's going to be a, build up to be a nice kit. Um, as you can see, the wheels are perfectly round. It would have been nice if they could have been weighted, just slightly squashed as if the, it was sitting down on the runway. Um, that would have been a really nice touch. Um, you can see here the seats. Can okay, you just wait that focus in? There you go. Um, these seats here, they've even got buckles on and everything. So uh, that's very good. I would imagine the aftermarket, will, aftermarket stuff will make me uh, sand that down and redo it. But uh, very nice indeed. Two different styles of props. As you can see here, you've got one raised. Okay, and one flat. Uh, definitely going to go for the raised props. Um, they're the ones that we've seen it at the shows with. Um, and it's certainly, they look awesome when they're, they're going round and they're revolving. Um, legs are all in good nick. A little bit of flash on the legs and on these exhaust ports here. Uh, apart from that, there's not a lot of flash so far. Uh, next couple of sprues, I think this is going to be the same again. 
Yep, same couple of screws again, just the obviously reverse sides of everything. Nothing extra there. Oh, this one. And then the fuselage. Ones. Oh. Missing a bit there. Oh. Actually, missing something off the sprue there. And it doesn't seem to be in the bag. Okay, I'm going to look for that a little bit. Oh, there it is. Found it. Excellent. Okay, so this looks like the, the bottom ramp bottom of the ramp or some part of the underneath of the fuselage um, again engraving is very good on all of this um, there's no flash on any of this again non-weighted non wheels which is a bit of a shame but the detail is, is quite a good level of detail the control panels and surfaces again they've got quite a lot of detail that you can um, you'll be able to should be able to to work on those and produce some nice results Fuselage itself is enormous, as you can see. Um, put an extra bit of Tamiya X20A for you, so you can get the, the idea of the size. Um, it's going to be a beast, and it's going to be fun to work on. I think this is definitely going on my sun's ceiling. Uh, this is going to look immense up there, and he loves the plane as well. So both sides of the fuselage, unfortunately I can't see if they go together because of the way the sprues are. But... Uh, there's a lot, a lot of fixing points all the way around, um, which is very, very handy. There's a lot of locating pins, so that's nice. Uh, last bag. Look at this one span. Okay, what have we got here? The other side of the wings. Yeah, some lovely, lovely engraving. Um, and it's been really, really flesh, uh, fresh, clean, crisp. Not too deep, which is great. It is, don't forget, it is, this is 172, believe it or not. Can you imagine this in 148 or 132 scale? God, we would know where to put it. But, uh, yeah, the lines are very clean. Um, it's going to weather up really nicely. Although, every time I've seen this plane, um, it's been very, very clean. Um, and... Uh, so I don't think there's going to be a lot of lot of weathering on this. There'll probably be just some slight weathering with uh, a lot around the exhaust ports and obviously things like that. But um, I think this is going to be quite a clean build, and the finish on it's going to be quite clean. And in fact, I really want it clean to be honest with you. I don't want it too dirty. But uh, yeah, all very nice. Um, look at that. <laughs> that is enormous. It looks like a whale's fin, doesn't it? Eh? But uh, yeah. The engine housings, all lovely detail on them as well. Um, top of the wings, some great detail on there. And uh, I think that's going to come up really, really well. Um, there's a little bit of rescribing going to be needed there. It's, it's worn down where it's been in the box, um, which is a little bit unfortunate. But that's what you get with all this piled plastic and all in together. Um, but that is going to be a beast. How many sprues have you got? One, two, three... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 sprues of plastic. 14 sprues of goodness. Um, I think that's going to be something to really get stuck into. There's another little sprue, believe it or not, I've seen more glass on World War II fighters than I have uh, on this. Um, as you can see here, okay, you've got the main cockpit glass and you've got some the view ports the ports the port glass there as well what i might do is instead of putting this port glass in depends how it goes in i might just use some um, crystal clear for the windows um, i think that might even come up nicer than that and be easy and get a smoother finish uh, but we'll see uh, the glass itself where it counts these apparently these windows here really clear they've made it a slightly rough surface on the rest of it which you're going to paint uh, which is good so the paint's going to stick to it nicely um, but apart from that, the glass is lovely, crystal clear glass. Um, okay, right. So 15 sprues, all in all, including the 
the glass sprue. Let's see what else we've got in the box. <clears throat> okay, instructions. We've got um, black and white instruction manual, obviously Revel, normal Revel stuff. Nothing too amazing. We've um, got the fallout, call outs, four sprues. What should be on the sprues and everything. Um, and then it starts to build up, uh, letting you know what you need to paint as you go. Uh, the paint call outs are in, let's have a look. Uh, doesn't say. A, B, C, D. Um, yeah, it doesn't actually say what uh, make of, uh, I would imagine it's their own colours. Um, so not too many colours on this one though. It's going to be a, a bit of a sky grey all the way across I think. The instructions themselves, they seem to, it seems to build up well. Um, it does tell you where to colour it before you put it all together, which I think most instructions do these days. Um, you do have here the choice to have wheels up or wheels down. Um, again, uh, your choice. I think uh, I'm going to put it on my, my son's uh, uh, ceiling, but I am going to have wheels down. I think um, I don't want wheels up on this. I want to show it off. Um, but apart from that, everything looks to be good. You know, nice, easy, basic, simple instructions. Seems to go together quite logically. Um, and you've got the decal placement on the end. Again, it's a shame it's not in colour. Um, it does. It's one of my bugbears of modern modern models that um, they're not in colour. You know, it's for the sake of. Um, I mean, I, I own a business and we print in colour and everything. And I know how what the difference is between the colour cost of this and a black and white cost. And literally, the difference in cost would be about 35 pence to the manufacturer on this. All that to do is pop an extra 99p on the price, and I think everyone would be happy. But uh, there you go. As you can see, when you get to the colour schemes, it is quite hard to tell. You know, if you were going to do this, this scheme here, the camo version, um, which is the German version, then uh, you, you know you're just like, well, you've got no reference really. Um, I'm going to do the sky grey version because that's the one I've seen, um, which is the flight test centre version, which is this one here. Okay. Um, and then you've got the, a French version uh, transport on the back, uh, but I'm going to go for the test version, because uh, which is the Spanish uh, one, which is one I've seen. So that's all quite nice. Um, very simple, easy to, to read instructions. What's this? There's a little uh, safety advice. Okay, don't need that. Right, decals. Big sheet of decals. Plenty of decals on there for you. Um, for the three different schemes, obviously German, French, French, and the test centre one. And they're all very nice indeed, clear, crisp, precise, all in register. Um, and they're just just the right uh, kind of uh, feel to them. They're not not too dull and not too shiny. They're pretty much spot on. I think if you put a a matte coat over that, they're, they're blending really, really well. Let's see if you can get a close up of these. Okay, as you can see, plenty on there, and they are a very nice colour. So, overall, you know, so I won't put it all back in the box right now, because it can take ages. Overall, I think it's, um, I'm really, this is one of the few kits I've been really excited about since it's been released. Uh, it's taken me a while to get it, it's one of those ones I keep saying, I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy. I never got round to it, but as I say, I saw it at that amazing price, and I thought, well, that can't be, uh, I can't be silly not to do it, really. Uh, that's a lot of plastic, um, and I think it's going to build up really well, and the thing is, my son loves this plane, absolutely loves it, so uh, this is going to look great on his uh, on his ceiling, and um, what I will do is, uh, with this one, I'll when I get the photo etching and the extras and the wheels and everything, the aftermarket stuff, I'll do a quick review on the aftermarket stuff for you as well if, you, if you're interested. Um, and also, uh, when it's built, I'll do a reveal video on it and things like that because I think that's going gonna to take me a while. I think that's one of those projects I'll have on the side while I'm doing the you know, SIGs and the, the group builds and things like that. 
but I'll have this ticking away in the background and just make take my time over it. Might take six months on this one and really, really work on it. So, but anyway, that's uh, that's the A400M, the Grizzly. Um, and uh, I think it's an awesome bit of kit. I'm just hoping it goes together really well with, without too much fuss. Um, and uh, so there, so I hope you like the review. Um, tune in for the next, version, uh, next session next week. Take care, bye-bye.